Hello students. All right. In this problem we have to determine the domain of this uh, function and um, we have a rational function and it involves a square root. So that means that the um, denominator cannot equal zero and uh, here's our denominator and our numerator um, involves a square root. So um, that means that the argument has to be greater than or equal to zero. So let's write these conditions down here in these bullet points. And here we have our, our original function. And recall that the square root of x um, is in the numerator and the square root, since we're dealing with real numbers only, the argument x has to be greater than or equal to zero. So if we just uh, graph that out on a number line here, there's zero, and our graph would mean x is greater than or equal to zero, so we just shade in everything there. Now to the right of zero, and our interval would be close bracket zero to um, positive infinity. All right, but now um, we have to consider the denominator here. So that means that x squared minus 3 squared cannot be equal to zero. So let's determine where it's equal to zero. Uh, we have a difference of squares here. So if we factor out this difference of squares, we have x minus 3 and x plus 3. And we solve each of these conditions when they're um, equal to 0 or where we don't want them to be equal to 0. So x cannot equal 3 because that would make x minus 3 0. And x cannot equal minus 3 because that would make x plus 3 equal to 0. And now let's combine this condition down here with this one up here and we see that we can um, discard the x is not equal to minus 3 because x has to be greater than or equal to 0. So let's combine these two conditions and I will graph it out. So um, x has to be greater than or equal to 0 but then we have to pluck out 3 which is to the right of 0, and we shade everything in but the 3. And then in interval notation, our domain would therefore be close bracket 0 up to 3. Then we use an open parenthesis to exclude the 3. Then we union that with 3 all the way to infinity, because that's where our number line is going off to here. And this quantity here. or this expression here, is our domain. All right, good luck.